They were three and seven to start. They've been six and one since. So what's been the biggest turnaround? First of all, I, I'm glad you brought up the national narrative because I was I was frustrated. It's the first time I've been frustrated maybe watching this show. And, and, and <laughs> it's allowed. It's okay. okay. To be totally honest, right? Go for it. I felt like there was too much attention. It was premature. The, the criticism of Doc, I felt like, was premature. And everyone was focusing on the record in the first 10 games. And I heard so much about the three and seven, the three and seven, and there wasn't context to it. So allow me, if I can, to provide a, a, a little bit of context. In the first 10 games, Chris Middleton missed six of those. In the first 10 games, Dame missed two of those. In the first 10 games, Brooke Lopez missed three oh. of those. You're dropping a head coach, and Becky, you can appreciate this from a coaching perspective. You're parachuting a, a head coach middle of the season um, into a five-game road trip. The first time he's with his team on the court is at a shoot-around to take on the defending NBA champs. Uh, it, it, it's nothing that anyone would sign up for. And so, by the way, they're, they're playing the toughest schedule when that coaching change was made. So I just feel like that, that national narrative and that push, well, Doc can't get it done, was way too premature. We had always said, wait until post-All-Star break. Mm. Those possessions of progress are going to start materializing, and then the wins are going to come. And I think exactly it's time and consistency with this team on the court, not just film session, yep. not just on the road, but that's, that's made the major difference. It's